Sands Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, 03 December. Busy day yesterday. Um, I guess we do a little recap first. Uh, Euro dollar um, prices through 30 and 31, 32, 33 were congested. It did eventually lead to a move to 44, and then ISM came out, and we basically shot up to 88, 89. Uh, as everyone can see here, the, the chart highs, the interesting chart highs, are at the figure now. 110.97 was the 21 November high. Um, that actually, that was the turn. We were long euros that day, I remember it well. Um, so now we need to get through the figure to make any headway. It's pretty straightforward uh, for euro dollar. Support should be back at 3040 area. Dollar yen bearish engulfed uh, after putting in a 72 high early, early in the day. Remember the 200 day moving average is at 108.92 so um, not surprised we stopped at 94 we need follow through uh, for this to be real right we need it we need to make lower lows today we didn't really do that we kind of printed the same low 95 today we had some pretty good um, Aussie yen buying so that's why dollar yen is has, has uh, popped up the problem with uh, the day ahead is there's not really much action here. I mean, it's just going to be tweets and, and news related uh, as far as G7 is concerned. We don't have any really good releases. I mean, we have um, we do have GDP out of South Africa, which will be a mover. But other than that, we really have nothing. Nothing cool, nothing good out of the U.S., nothing really good out of Europe. Um, so, could be a consolidation day, or we'll have just to wait for Donnie to wake up and see what kind of uh, tweets he throws out, uh, whether he's going to attack France for their digital tax some more, or bark about this and that. Uh, who knows? Um, so, will this follow through is the question undoubtedly a bearish day yesterday bearish engulfing at the highs um, normally this is important you can see this bearish engulfed at the highs on August 1st this bearish engulfed at the highs uh, October 1st this bearish engulfed at the highs on the 30th October each of them had big follow-throughs um, will we get a follow-through today it's already not a great sign that we've been up to 20. Normally, you don't get a 25-point move higher. Um, and so the safe bet is uh, to add on low ones today, not on high ones. So if you're core short from yesterday, which you, you probably should be, um, great. You know, hold your breath, see how things go. Um, I think the professional add is through 90 today, One. 0890. Let's go to ES. Uh, down to 08 overnight, which did make a new low. Bearish engulfing at the high. We haven't seen that in a while. We did see it here. Uh, 01 May. Bearish engulfed. We dogeed. We cruised higher, but we never made that new high, and then we we collapsed. Uh, bearish engulfed. I can't even remember the last time we bearish engulfed at the high. This looks like a... nope. It's been a while, people, that uh, that we've done this as far as chart work's concerned. Um, I don't know. Like I said, uh, like I said yesterday, sell high ones. Uh, we think it shouldn't get above 41. Unfortunately, with such a big bar, if you do leave your stop above 60, your risk reward is totally upside down and it's totally screwed. So, you just got to be tactically short, try and get yourself into a good average. Um, it's tricky, right? Uh, 
again the professional trade might to be add to to be to add through 09 but unlike dollar yen uh S&Ps it doesn't really work as well selling low ones the momentum in the S&Ps is very very different than the momentum in currencies so uh I would just say tactically short um try and get your average as high as possible without losing your short position um just saying that out loud reminds me how how difficult this business is. Let's take a look at Aussie, which is just squeezing the Christ out of everybody. Um, don't know why. I think it's just positioning here. RBA obviously didn't move last night. Why is Aussie yen at seventy four seventy? Wow, amazing. It doesn't doesn't look right, um, but it, it is what it is. We do not fade this or we don't fade it yet um, Aussie looks decent a surplus account uh, they printed a surplus on their current account yesterday as well which is added to the uh, to the buying uh, don't know what to do with Aussie no real view there Boone's uh, back down lower the yield uh, is getting close to minus 20 basis points is through the 200 day on yield um, this looks like we're going to um, attack this 69.20 um, before the contract change remember uh, we will only be trading DEES uh, for a little bit longer so you gotta start looking at um, the March contract for 2020 soon like I said, not tons of um, data today. Oh yeah, dollar Swiss, big bearish, motherfucker day. I mean, dollar Swiss, and this is the bar that makes me think this whole thing is real. They say dollar Swiss he never lies. Um, seems to lie to me quite frequently, or I don't really understand it too well, but. Um, if you think this is a triple top, here's your neckline down here, 98.40. Do you close your eyes and just sell dollar Swiss through 99.11? We're not going to do that, but I don't know, man. Dollar Swiss is a trendy little fucker, uh, and you can see just from the chart, big red bars are usually followed by big red bars, and they usually come in threes and fours. So use your imagination. We get another big red bar. We're down here, and then we attack this level. And then it might get messy. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm not saying to trade dollar Swiss. Obviously, Euro uh, has been a lot kinder to us in our careers, so we stick with that. Um, but if you don't have the dollar yen on, if you don't have the Euro, you might want to look to be shorting dollar Swiss and for this one maybe you can even sell high ones I don't even know I don't dollar Swiss is a cruel cruel mistress um, anyway looks pretty damn bearish like I said no data today we do have GDP out of um, South Africa this got crushed uh, in sympathy with just dollar sales caught a lot of people off guard right normally risk off is EM higher uh, triple bottom down here at 50 if GDP does beat which would be fairly surprising um, this is now a very important level 14 50 good luck out there people make some dough uh, you deserve it talk to you guys tomorrow Ciao.